Riveting content, empowering your life. Welcome to The Sphere. This episode is sponsored by Elite Dental Wellness. At Elite Dental Wellness, Dr. Ashandra Batiste understands that one of the biggest obstacles is dental fear. The vision at Elite Dental Wellness is to ensure every patient is treated with respect, ultimate care, patience, and love. Call us today to make an appointment at area code 713-789-8680. Looking to advertise? Join the Sphere's vast demographic reach of thousands of people all over the world. Send an email today to advertise at the sphere.tv or call us at area code 832-772-7789. KOG and Company. Are your unique gifts and talents changing the world? Do you desire to belong to a community of unity? Visit KOGPassion.com to learn more about the Unleash Your Dopeness movement. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to The Money Factor here on The Sphere. This is LaShonda Johnson, certified financial educator and also the co-founder of the Houston Housewives of Finance. And um, good morning. I'm Tony Sanders, also your certified financial education instructor, as well as the co-founder of the Houston Housewives of Finance. And we're back. Money Mondays. Yes, absolutely. It is Monday Mondays. We're back to give you some more incredible information. Uh, how was your weekend? Did you stick to your budget or did you blow your budget? Did you save a lot of money last week? Do for, you have a budget? Yes. Did you save a lot of money for America <laughs> Saves Week last week? So, yeah, yes. we got some good things to tell you about. And guess what? It's Monday. It's been seven days since we did our, our detox challenge. Uh, let me tell you something. Hey. Yay. One week now. <laughs> I'm not quite one week. I have one more day to go, but we're going to call it a week. Yes, absolutely. But the results is good. Absolutely. The results are good. We're down uh, about eight pounds each. And let me tell you something. Yay. We have hand claps. Some applause. <laughs> uh, but, you know, while our producer is getting those applause, there you go. Yay. It ain't easy. Oh, no, it's, it's not. It's not easy. Oh, my gosh. You know what? We Just like we talk about with your finance, how difficult it is to, you know, you got to stick to a budget. You got to be disciplined and consistency, consistent. There's no different when it comes to your health and the challenges that we're facing today. So guess what? I have to, it's a mind thing. You have to tell yourself, look, I've got to do some different things to get some different results. And so that's what we're doing. So, um, hey, I'm happy to uh, come to you this week and say, Whew, one week down, three weeks to go, but we're gonna do it. Yes, so we're our, we're literally transforming before your eyes, Tony yes, and I. So what did we say when we saw ourselves on camera? Ooh, we look smaller. Oh, my face doesn't look as fat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we hope that you know with the with the save last week was uh, America Saves, Saves Week. week. Mm -hmm. We hope that your bank account, your savings account, looks fat. Mm. You know, so we want our face to look slim and we want our bank accounts to look fat. Absolutely. So speaking of um, bank accounts, um, we want to talk to you guys today about a very uh, important topic, uh, especially for those of us who are having kids or have kids or our kids are about to enter college today. We're going to have a conversation about college. Mm, okay. And um, it is a very, very expensive uh, feet to go to college. We all Absolutely. know that. Absolutely. Um, in our country today, we are we're struggling with college debt. Mm -hmm. It is you know the ball and chain that's pulling us down as far as being able to you know save for our our retirement. Pay you know it's it's a large part of the debt that we owe. Absolutely. And uh, it's prohibiting you know parents from retiring if they, if they you know wait too long to start taking care of their kids and mm -hmm. they start sacrificing their retirement so we want to talk about that today absolutely um in the first article we want to share with you guys is that um the good news is that we do have a little bit of a tax credit that uh will save us some money in this expense but if you look at what <laughs> what it's going to save us versus what we're going to pay wow hmm it's not very much. It's not, not very, very significant. Up. But right. we take you'll take it. We'll right. take whatever we Free can money. get. Mm -hmm. 
we will definitely take it. Mm-hmm. So correct money, order free money, tax exempt money, tax deferred money, and then taxable money. So free money is always, always good. So let's look at this article. Uh, it's brought to us by CNN and Money. If you're watching us, you can see this. If not, you can go back and click on the links, but you have to subscribe to the Spirit to do that, okay? But it starts off by saying college education is more expensive than ever, and many students come out of school with ten, uh, tens of thousands of dollars in student loan debt. Tony, you and I know that. We, we see these people every, every day. day. It's worth pursuing any financial support you can get to help fund your education. So let's just stop right there. Let's just stop right there. It's worth it Mm -hmm. to fund, I mean, to find any sources you can to help you. And so- Oh, you don't have to go far, we're right here. No, we're right here. So Mm -hmm. we want, we're we're gonna talk about that too in this uh, this show today. Um, Sources that can help you. Right. But you guys, it's very, very, very expensive. Did I mention it was very, very, very expensive? And so let's go back to the article. Tony, you want to pick up from there? And uh, let's talk about this tax credit. Absolutely. It says one way the federal government helps to finance college education is offering a valuable tax breaks to students and their families. In particular, using the American Opportunity Tax Credit can save you as much as 10000 as. 10000 over the course of the college education. Um, that's, that's a, hey, that's a significant amount of savings for some people, depending yes. on where they're going to school, in state, yes. out of state. Mm-hmm. What is the American Opportunity Credit? The American Opportunity Credit uh, is available to undergraduate students for up to ten, four years of their college education. The credit is structured so that you can get dollar for dollar reimbursement for the first $2,000 you spend towards your eligible uh, college expenses in the form of tax reductions. A further 25% credit is available on the next $2,000 spent, which can add up to an extra $500 in tax reduction for those who spend $4,000 or more on all, our annual college costs. Hey, we'll take it. We'll take it. You know, I know some people may be thinking, LaShonda, wow, that's not a lot, but something is always better than anything. Anytime that you can save, you want to take that opportunity. I don't anytime care what you get it is. any free money Absolutely. towards college, you want to take it because it reduces your costs and you're looking to reduce your costs as much as hum- humanly possible. Absolutely. So let's go back to the article. So what is the American Opportunity Credit? Okay, the American Opportunity Tax Credit uh, is also unusual in the students and families um, are allowed to get a portion of their money back from this from the IRS, even if they wouldn't otherwise owe any tax. Hmm. Up to 40% of the credit is refundable, making uh, that part available to those with zero tax liability, which is, that's very good. good. So in claiming the credit, you're allowed to claim what you pay for tuition, required, uh, required course materials, and mandatory school fees. You're not allowed to claim room and board, transportation, or other side expenses. Uh, of uh, um, other side expenses of going to going to college so here's the situation we need to understand when we are receiving these credits what they're due for so transportation uh, room and board and and other expenses like your child needs a computer like your child needs to eat Mm -hmm. you know those kind of things so even though you do receive some funds Tony it's still necessary to save for college because Absolutely. the college experience does not just include tuition and books right it, it includes everything there's a need for supplemental income for the for the student absolutely. as well absolutely mm-hmm. absolutely if your child has a car guess who's got to pay the car insurance absolutely gas you know gas mm-hmm. you know um entertainment you know mm-hmm. they're not just going to sit in their dorm room right right and again they have to eat and then essentials like computers Mm -hmm. um if they live uh in 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 an an apartment apartment, Mm -hmm. you've got to pay for that you've Mm -hmm. also got to pay for internet service absolutely you've i mean these things there's a lot of additional expenses that you don't consider um it's more than just the tuition in the books yes and that hit me when Mm -hmm. my son went and i'm like okay uh, yeah, well, we're setting you up. We got to set you up just like you. I would be set up in my own place. And you know, another big expense that I didn't even realize until spring break, these kids travel. Oh, they do. They travel. They do. And then you have to factor in if your kid is out of state, you travel into them. To them. Especially Absolutely. if they're a part of extracurricular activities like sports and things like that. So you have to be 
uh, be able to pay for mm -hmm. travel to go and see them participate in these things. So I have one, one client that says, all my kids are off for college. But when they come home, we have all those kids to provide airline tickets for. Wow. And he was like, you know what? I wouldn't even uh, trade that for what it costs because luckily they all got scholarships. scholarships. Mm -hmm. However, he says, you know, when they all get ready to come home, we got to we got to buy four airline tickets wow. Wow. or we get ready to go see them. Then we have to buy airline tickets. So right. we spend quite a bit of money on travel. On travel. Absolutely. And I don't know how much of that you can write off. Hmm. So that's a good question. Uh, I don't know. I'm not a tax professional. Right. But get with your CPA or your tax professional. Ask them, you know, are those expenses able to be written off. So let's go back to the article and see what else it has to say. Tony. So it says, can you take the credit? Speaking of credit. Mm. <laughs> if you otherwise qualify, not everyone is allowed to take the full amount of the credit. The income limitations apply so that the single flyers who make more than 90000 in modified adjusted gross income, income can't claim the credit. Singles making between 80000 and 90000 can only take a partial credit. The corresponding range uh, for joint filers is 160000 to 180000 dollars despite all of the restrictions in the American opportunity tax credit has been quite popular nearly 9.7 million taxpayers claimed the credit in the most recent year and for which and which the IRS tax data available in the total savings exceeded 22 billion billion that wow. worked out for an average of savings of two thousand two hundred and seventy seven dollars per family for those claiming the credit also keep in mind if you have multiple students um, in your family who qualify for the credit then each of them have the right to claim up to the full amount that wasn't all common but nearly 775,000 taxpayers had two children that qualified for the credit that gave them more than 60,000 that included three children in college to get the credit. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Because I was thinking, oh, is that just going to do one per household? Mm -hmm. No, it's per child. It's per child. Mm, yes. I like that. So, you know, that's what we do here. We bring you the information and, and news you can use to help you in your journey, and college is a journey. So uh, now it's that time of the portion of the show that we have to talk about one of our sponsors, that's Elite Dental Wellness. And uh, we love Elite Dental Wellness. Yes, we okay, do. at Elite Dental Wellness, our vision is to create a welcoming practice that will offer exceptional dental care and a lifetime of dental wellness. We're committed to the finest possible oral care and overall health and well-being of our patients. Elite Dental Wellness is built upon a foundation of integrity, expertise, and service. Through our commitment to modern dentistry, continuing education, and a friendly atmosphere, we strive to make our patients feel that they are part of our family. Dentistry can be scary, daunting, and uncomfortable. Dr. Batiste and her team work tirelessly to ensure your comfort. Make your appointment today with Dr. Ashandra Batiste at Elise Dental Wellness by calling 713-789-8680. That's awesome. Ding. So, you know what, LaShonda, we got a shout out to the people who are, you know, watching us on um, Facebook. Yeah, we have Man, quite a few a, of you there. Yes. Glad to see Say you. Say good morning, Jordan and La Latasha and Larry and Vernon yes. and Jessica. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and share. Yes. Make sure you're sharing this episode, especially to those people who do have kids who are going to be entering college, uh, college bound or who are already in college. This Absolutely. Is some very, very good information that needs to be shared. And we appreciate you definitely for joining in. Good morning, Jessica. Jonathan Milton. Good morning, everybody. Yes, absolutely. Yes. So um, now uh, we, we really do thank you guys for tuning in and we do want you to share the show because uh, college, hmm. it's it's a scary expense. Yes, it is. And and so a lot of parents are intimidated by it such that, that they don't even touch it or top, touch the, the topic or deal with it until their kids get in high school. Too late, guys. Mm, no, we got to start late. early. We got to start early. Hashtag time's up. <laughs> yes. Please start dealing with college right this minute. So, you know, we talked about it in one of our shows before that one of the things that you can do is start saving for kids before they're even before born. Before they're even born. You need to. That's you how much it's going to cost you. Yes. It's just very expensive. So speaking of the expense, uh, we're going to show you a calculator mm. that will give you an idea. This is called the world's simplest college cost calculator 
the College Cost and Savings Calculator is the ideal tool for your college planning needs. Obtain a personalized projection of your future college costs by entertaining your child by entering your child's age. Okay. And once you enter the age, the type of school you're saving for, your household income, the calculator estimates the amount of scholarships and grants you may receive based on your income and level. Uh, and it also adjusts your monthly contribution to see how much you could could um, save over time mm-hmm. in a 529 plan. This is amazing. I'm yes. just looking at it, you guys, because I'm thinking about my little Macy Poo, my grandbaby, and she's one. And I'm thinking, look at that. Two hundred and sixty two thousand dollars yes yeah yeah. that well well, that's 40 percent you're getting a little bit of you know of uh you see scholarships and scholarships and grants you're getting what is that 55 is that 35 i can't see 55 55 55, okay so that's what it's it's taken into account but if you don't receive that then that's your price tag right there 262,000 that's macy's first home Hmm. (laughs) yes and so um Projected college savings, 98000 is what they're saying. College savings um, gap. gap is that's, that's you. That's you, what you got to come up with. And so this is really cool um, because people are really in la-la land when it comes to what it's going to cost for their kids to go to Absolutely. college. And when I say la-la land, really la-la-la-la-la, they think that, you know, this is mm-hmm. all lollipops and right. stuff. No, this is serious. This is very serious. You really need to know what you need to plan for. I mean, I had a conversation <laughs> with um, some clients yesterday. You know, they're expecting a baby. And they were like, wow, okay, so this kind of money? Yeah, this kind of money. Mm-hmm. 18 years from now. You guys, college is already expensive today. Today. So you imagine what it would be then. 18 years from now. Right. So, again, you have to go subscribe to the Spear so you can make sure you go back and be able to click on this link and uh, put your own figures in. That That's a cool little yes. app right there for people to you yes. know, see. You know, we talk about it all the time, LaShawn, mm-hmm. that, you know, their college debt has surpassed credit card and automobile debt. Mm-hmm. So, like she and said. And retail. If we are mm-hmm. here right here today, imagine what it will cost for your children and your grandchildren later. So we got to start planning. It's all about the planning. You got to put a plan in place when it comes to these kids going to college. You just can't depend on them getting a scholarship. You know, yeah, everybody wants to think, oh, my kid's going to get a scholarship or my kid's, you know, the best athlete. But what if that plan doesn't work out for you? What's your plan B? Well, and, and, and oftentimes, a lot of cases, that plan doesn't work out because statistically, the numbers are very small mm-hmm. compared to those who actually get scholarships. They actually get And it. those who think they're going to get Absolutely. Scholarship, Absolutely. scholarships. So you have to be, you have to have a plan in place. You cannot depend on that. If it happens, then kudos. Then now you get to put that money towards things that the scholarship does not pay for, like the things we discussed before, uh, you know room and board Mm -hmm. um also transportation other essentials that your child will need absolutely in college very very important absolutely you know what Lashana, we got a lot of new people i'm seeing on um facebook today good morning good morning brad and deshonda and um um i can't see that right there what's the other one mario 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 okay and then i see another one yes well, we know wow. who Jessica is. But yes, <laughs> yes. So, you guys, if you have questions or you want to shout out, please send, put us a message there in the Facebook comments. We'd love to hear your feedback on what you're you're learning this morning, okay? And please do share the show. So, now, um, let's go to back to this calculator for just a second because there's there's something I want to, to point out um, on the calculator, okay? So, you can also download your results. And if we scroll up just a little bit, it says if uh, in a plan, uh, I'm sorry, sorry, scroll down. It says your goal is so in in short, if your goal is to cover 58 percent of the 262 projected costs for college, you will need to start making monthly contributions (laughs) of two hundred and fifty dollars into a 529 plan to meet that goal. And so not just the 529 plan is available. There's other options available for you guys. But. The, the point is $250 is what you need to, this is for a one-year-old. For a one-year-old. This so, is for a one-year-old. So let's let's just take it a little further because this is, a, I've been trying to simplify things for you, okay? And this is a one-year-old saving for when this child graduates. So that at she, 18. She, at 18 years of age. That's $8 a day. Yes. Come on, you guys. You've got us, you know, instead of us, you know, buying these things for these kids that they can't yes. use now, let's go ahead and pour into them for later. Yes. You know, my goodness, eight 
dollars you put away for your child. Now, if you wait till that child turns 10, mm. the price tag just went up it of what you up. have to save. So when you guys sit down with us, which, by the way, you need to do, contact us at one 800 to sit down with us. Uh, and also you can text us mm -hmm. at 31996 in the message field. Type in ask A-S-K-H-H-O-F and put your information there and we will get back to you. But so when we sit down with you and we start explaining what you need to put towards college, don't be upset with us. Don't shoot the messenger. Don't shoot the messenger. Because we're showing you this morning, the later you start, the more you will have to contribute. So we can only blame ourselves for our late starts or our procrastination. You better say it. Not the professional that's sitting down with you presenting you with the numbers. Right. And I know it can be frustrating, but again, that's why word to the wise, start early. I don't care what you're doing as it relates to saving for anything, whether it's college, whether it's your retirement, whether it's possible long-term care issues, no matter what you're saving for, please look me in the eye when I say this, you must start early. Right. You right. cannot procrastinate. That is the number one cause of failure in Absolutely. planning for anything. Saying that you're going to start and you never start and you, you have to get started. You really do. You know, take advantage of the time. The time is equivalent to money. And that's what we're asking you to do is to do something different. Go ahead and start saving now for your kids so that they can have the money set aside for them to go to college. And again, even if it's just a supplement, what, you, what is your contribution? Exactly. Because you, you, you're the parents. You're expected to do something. Yes, we cannot absolutely. expect everybody else to take care of our responsibilities as it relates to our children. So we're at that time in the show that facebook live will end so thank you to all of you who joined us this morning yes thank however you so the much. show is not ending now you have to subscribe go right now this moment this second and go to the sphere.tv and you can subscribe when you're there we would like for you to write a review tell us what you think what you'd like to see uh, we love compliments. We like constructive criticism as well. Mm -hmm. uh, but while you're there, we want you to share the show. Do share the show. We don't know who you know. Uh, we have a large network of people that we know, but that's not everybody. That's you know, we're everybody. trying to get this message out to the masses. That includes everybody. No one is excluded. So we have to know who you know, and we need you to share the show. Okay? We provide the show to you completely complimentary. And uh, if you would like to help us in our cause to get this message out, you can donate. There is an option there to donate one time. You can become a regular patron, too, through donations. Either one, we'd like it, we'd love it, uh, if you do either one. Okay, so that's an option there for you. Again, the show is not ending, but you do need to subscribe to go back and watch the show in its entirety. And let me mention, by the way, we're also on iTunes. We're on Google Play. We're on um, iHeart. Mm -hmm. uh, iHeart. We're on SoundCloud, mm -hmm. uh, Stitcher. So we're out there, you guys. YouTube, you can Google us. We're Googleable. <laughs> okay? So some way, somehow, you got to find a way to, to watch us and share this information on your social media outlets. And hey, well, while we're at it, before we leave, let's just tell them, make sure you're following us on social media. Absolutely. We're on all the social media platforms, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn. Uh, we're on Meetup. We're on Facebook, of course, as the Houston Housewives of Finance official. official. If it doesn't say official, it's, it's not, not us. us. So make sure you uh, go ahead and like our page so you can continue to follow us and get some incredible information that you, we definitely know that you can use. Absolutely, absolutely. Mm -hmm. So let's go back to this college issue. This is something, honey. Okay, so um, you guys, I want to talk to you guys about our college planning program, mm -hmm. which uh, Miss Tony Sanders happens to be a college planning consultant. Yes, she is. Okay, what does that mean? She can consult you about college for your kids, absolutely, and create uh, methods for you to help you through that process. You know, the problem is, Lashonda, most people are thinking about college uh, planning um, in, in the workshops and things, just about funding. Uh, college planning is more than just getting the money. It's about having a plan. Like anything else, you have to have a plan. You and your student must have a plan mm -hmm. what are they going to do uh, what school do they need to attend is that even something that they really think that they want to do so how about an assessment have you ever had your child assessed it to see if this is really what they want to do and if, if that's what they're good at exactly 
you know, just, oh, I just want to go here because my mom was here, or I'm going to do this because my dad did this, you know. Or I like the colors of their uniforms oh, we for hear basketball. It all. Oh, my gosh, we hear you it know, all. Or I want to go to my dad's alma mater. NCAA champs. Right, right, right. Good football team. Mm-hmm. The turn up is, is real there. It's real at all of them, okay. <laughs> <laughs> But, uh, yeah, so these are the things that um, just a few of the things that we, you know, do in our college planning uh, workshops, which is, again, complimentary. Um, Everything that we bring to you is absolutely free. So you must take advantage of them. And our college planning program, uh, we are um, in partnership with Heartland Institute of Financial Education, Mm -hmm. and we bring our workshops every single month and matter of fact if you can't even make a workshop we'll sit down with you one-on-one and do a presentation how about that so there's no excuses we're taking out the excuses that you have or that you give to us that why you cannot come there's no excuse none whatsoever no excuse yeah so we're eliminating the excuses on this show because we're providing you all of the possible um, information that you need to take care of you full circle. Absolutely. Okay. And w- would you not agree that it's just the resources? People always say, oh, we didn't have the resources. We can say that back then, but stop using that as an excuse is that no. you didn't know. Uh, the, the information is out there. Um, you've got to make a decision that you're going to uh, take advantage of the resources that are offered to you. Yes. And so that your kids, uh, do it for your children. Absolutely. You know, I can say that maybe we didn't have all the resources. No, we didn't, but we, we have the power to change it for the next generation. For the next generation. Yes. Absolutely. So, yeah, definitely. This is the information age. Mm. And so if you if you don't know, uh, Whose problem is that? Right. There's too, That's, ma- there's there's too many sources, too of, many information. sources of information. Okay. <laughs> We're pulling all kinds of sources to bring to you. So speaking of sources, the Saving Your Future book is one of them. Absolutely. And it happens to be a major source, um, a very viable source uh, that you can go back and refer to time and time again. But I know before we do that, it's time for us to get to our next sponsor in the show. Absolutely. This portion (laughs) of the show is being sponsored by The Sphere. Are you starting a business or looking for a place to advertise? Do you have a need to reach out to thousands of people across the world to build your brand or sell your product? If so, get your product placement and advertising needs handled right here at The Sphere. We offer a wide variety of content delivery platforms, including iTunes, Google Play, SoundCloud, YouTube, and Stitcher. Plus, we have a vast demographic reach within the United States, as well as modern countries across the globe. Our enriched content and inspiring dialogue, coupled with your strategic ad, is surely to hit the mark every time. Call us today at area code 832-772-7789 or send an email over to advertise at the sphere.tv. Hey, we're growing here at the sphere and you definitely want to join our team. Hey, it's, uh, it's awesome. This is this is incredible. I mean, I we're this is now episode number 94. Woo! We're 6 away from one uh from 100. 100 yes. And so the 100 we're trying to figure out what we're going to do for it but it's going to be crazy mad crazy so (laughs) so we're looking forward to it but i mean i'm i'm looking forward to you know episode 200 yeah that 200 you know can you imagine how many lives we get to change through this forum thank you so much gary lee absolutely for your insights and uh what you do uh in bringing the sphere to That's awesome. Yes. Man, I tell you, you got to be a part of the sphere because it's some incredible things happening. We have some incredible things Absolutely. happening. Okay. But, but you know what you have to do, though? You have to share it. Don't just keep it for yourself. Make sure that you're sharing it with your family and your friends so they, too, can be a part of our family. Absolutely. And get the information as well. And remember, the knowledge is power. We're bringing you the knowledge, but the application of knowledge is even powerful. So make sure that you're putting a plan into place. Give us a call at one 844 Four four six three. You can reach us at uh, on our um, email at info at houstonhousewivesoffinance.com. Uh, like she said, just Google us. But as long as you take action. Must. You we must. We must take action this year. We've been bringing you all of this information. You said 94 episodes. 94. That's 94 weeks wow. of conversations so, with you guys. Uh, so what's going on? That's over a year. What's going on? Why hey, haven't you reached out to us? You got to reach out to us. You mm-hmm. can reach out to me at LaShonda J at Houston Housewives of Finance dot com and i'm tony s at houston 
HoustonHousewivesOfFinance.com. Again, we're on all your social media platforms, including LinkedIn, Meetup. We're on um, Instagram, Twitter. We're on Facebook, of course, as the Houston Housewives of Finance official. official. If it doesn't say official, it's, it's not, not us. us. So you know what? There's no excuse. We're taking the excuses none, out. None hey, whatsoever. What, what, did, what did our business partner say? I like that little statement that he said. He says, um, eliminating, every, eliminating excuse, the, the excuses. The, he says, everyone has an excuse. Oh, oh, everyone has an excuse and all of them are so therefore I'll accept none uh, all of them can be good so therefore I accept none yes I love that <laughs> so no more excuses remember you know no one's interested in excuses only results so we want to make sure that you're getting the results that you're no, looking for no excuses doesn't get your child into college ooh you show sure right no. <laughs> excuses does not pay your mortgage right excuses will not retire you mm. excuses does not pay the grocery bills what excuses does not pay off debt what Excuses will keep you in debt. You show right. Uh, exactly. So, hey, don't subscribe to excuses. Mm. No excuses. Okay. So now let's talk about the Saving Your Future book. Okay. If you don't have this book, shame on you. This is episode number 94. Reach out to us and get this book, please, 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 please. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to have this book. Okay. So we're going to talk about in this book, we're going to talk about college university savings plan this is a big deal right here mm -hmm. it's it's a really really big deal because the numbers don't lie it says when having children parents don't often think about how much their kids will cost them however it takes a lot of money to raise a child who are you telling mm. according to the u.s department of agriculture in 2013 it will cost a middle income couple Two hundred and forty-five thousand to raise a child until age eighteen, Ooh. and this does not include college, the cost of college. So if you add what we just showed to this, Ooh, add the two sixty-two to that one-year-old, that's over five hundred thousand dollars. And what if you have two kids, ooh, three kids, four? Ooh, oh my gosh, the cost in Canada two hundred forty-three thousand plus. That's roughly a thousand dollars per month from birth to adult. Hood. But the big bill comes when your child goes to college, which we've been talking about. LaShonda, you had two, girl. You spent over a million dollars. Ooh. That's why I'm broke now. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my! Oh my God! Oh my God! I'm telling you, you that's know what? why Just adding the two numbers up. That's why when you look at your kids and they have, you know, they have, they have an attitude. You be like, you better straighten I'm up. Dot you in the eye <laughs> <laughs> if you don't get your attitude right. I have wow. sacrificed a lot a to lot. bring you here, take care of you. I have funded you. $245,000 so to raise your child. And then another, depending on their age, over 200000 just to get them through college. Plus the incidentals. Are you kidding me? Yeah. And that, that doesn't count all the incidentals. Incidentals, I think, can cost even more. What? Because hey, you depending know, you, on the kind of child you have. If you have a girl, Ooh. they want to get their hair done, nails yes. done, everything Boys done. Boys need haircuts and tennis yes. shoes. And oh, yes. The gadgets. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. They want the phones. Mm. You know, shout out to my son. I just found out he uh, went and bought him an ex. And I'm financing it. I'm like, wow. Okay. See? Incidental. Still happening at 25. Oh, I got I to gotta, uh, gotta do you one better. I just paid a cash app to my daughter today. Uh, paid it. Oh my gosh! So okay, so this is crazy because they're always costing. That's it to age eighteen. So eighteen things are not cut off. It's not cut off. You're no. still taking care of these no. children. You know, at some point, we want them to become independent. <laughs> <laughs> she said, "Want?" Did you hear at, that? At some point, <laughs> yes. Yeah, so, but you guys, again, so the most expensive thing, though, you know, we know we got to take care of through eighteen. We can't, you know, we know that. Okay. Right. However, college, you can mitigate that cost by looking at some college planning uh, savings plans, okay? Mm -hmm. So let's go back to the blue book and see what it has to say. So Canada, uh, uh, Canadian universities are lower at 6,348 for the year of 2012 and 13. Well, of so course, you we're know way that's ahead. Yeah. Where do you get the money for your children to go to college of, your, of their choice? Hmm. You know, are you giving them choices? Some of us, like, you're going to be right here in, in state because right. out of state is too much. It's too expensive. Looking back, you may remember all the toys, parties, trips exactly. you spent on your children over the last 18 years. You took care of them so well, except 
you didn't prepare for the high cost of education. So let's stop right there for a minute. So when I did the math, just on Macy, that was $8 a day. Mm -hmm. So you think about the parties and all the other and things that we do for our children that they forget about the next day. You think about holidays. Every holiday I see the stores and they're putting it out there for you. Even this month, guess what? They're going to get you because you're going to do Easter. You're going to get No, we're not even in Easter yet. How about y'all going to go and y'all going to buy all the stuff for St. Patty's Day? Oh, you, yeah. You, How we can't forget about you, there's always you, something it's, to spend it's money always going to be something to spend money on but for all the money that you spend please in the back of your mind you've got to make sure that you're saving for that kid's college, college, college now if you're college. doing that you're taking care of your retirement you have plant you have your savings you have your retirement okay i understand because i know some people get on me oh tony you too hard no y'all too soft <laughs> this is what you need to do you got to start saving um, um more money and spending less on the things that really matter Exactly. So because we're not there, saying you can't no, I'm not celebrate you your can. child's birthday. We didn't say that. No. We're not saying that. We're saying you have to save for college. So how you celebrate your child's birthday has to be a different way. Mm. If you, if you, you cannot sacrifice college so because you want to have a grand celebration. Right. Right. No. And, and nine times out of ten, Rashonda, that's not even for the kid anyways. That's no, for, for you. for the parents. A lot Come of times it's for the parents. Let's, let's do, let's do okay. some different things. You know, my mom, she always hooked me up with parties. I don't know. I'm out of four kids. I'm the one that always got parties. And I don't know why. Did she just feel like I was the party type? I don't know. Mm -hmm. However, um, if that's you and you really want to celebrate your kids, we're just saying... First of all, sit down with us. You need a personal financial strategy, okay? We know birthdays come the same time every year. Every year. Plan, Just plan for out them. For it. Just plan for it. Just have a and budget. So, and, and, and then you won't be sacrificing college because, like Tony said in that example, $8 a day, okay? $8 a day. So how much are you spending a day on that party? But make sure you extract that $8 a day first. And then what's remaining is what you can now do other things with. And so, of course, we're not just saving for college. We're also saving for other things. Absolutely. You got your retirement. You got the college. Emergency. Emergency funds. If you savings. have kids, there's oh always goodness. an emergency If you own kids. a house, you always have an emergency. Your so, house, your tires, anything. You just got to have a plan. And if you don't have a plan, must. you plan to fail. And okay. we don't want you to fail. That no. is the bottom line. Absolutely It's too not. many of us failing and so much more that we can do to take control of our financial futures. You've got to win you gotta win you've gotta win and you can win you can do it it is possible it's not it's overwhelming when you don't have a plan but when mm. you have a plan you have peace of mind and you really feel good about the decisions that you've made because you've made them strategically and you've made them in a way that everybody in your family is going to win and, and you can still enjoy life as well we're not saying and it's stress you. free oh you're not gosh, stressed yes. out because when i can tell you me personally when it was time for taylor to go to college you know, there was a little money coming in here and there, but I hadn't done my part. You know, I failed as a parent by not, you know, saving the money, spending the money on things that didn't even matter. That when it was time for her to go to Prairie View Annium University, they did not want a purse. They did not want a car. They did not want my clothes. They did not want the trips I had taken. They wanted me to write them a check. Hello. And that's what they want. Yes. And so as parents, we have to do what's right for our right. children. Right. They are our responsibility. And it just takes a little. You don't have to do it all at once, but do a little bit at a time. And start early. And start early. And then you can do a little bit at a time. It's not overwhelming. So right. we're trying to make life very simple for all of us, ourselves included. You know, we have adult children, so we don't have to worry about that and anymore. And we've made those mistakes. But we've made those mistakes. And that's why we're saying to you, you guys, there's a better way. A there better is way. a better way. You want to adopt that better way way mm -hmm. and one of the places we want to show first of all let's go back to the saving your future book uh, and then we're going to show you a solution okay many parents end up having to withdraw money out of their pension wow. or retirement accounts some borrow against their cash value in their life insurance policy others get loans from equity in their house and go into debt some have some have a 529 plan what is that with a 529 savings plan parents open an account and choose an investment strategy the money you put in is after tax okay potential earnings accumulate tax-free and withdrawals can be made tax-free when it's time to pay for your uh, for college expenses such as tuition books room and board 529 is a state-sponsored college savings plan but open to non-residents Thus, parents can shop around for the best plan to meet their financial goals and needs. Now, here's what you need to know. This one, you guys, is very important. Let's go back to the book, this particular phrase. 
um, that you need to understand because a lot of people don't know this. However, if your kid decides not to go to college, you can transfer the money to another family member for college. If all your children decide to skip school and become rock stars, then the money is subject to regular income taxes plus a 10% penalty on gains. Please note that 529 plans affect a family's eligibility for financial aid because it is considered an asset. Can you repeat that? Okay. Please note (laughs) that 529 plans affect a family's eligibility for financial aid because it is considered an asset. So you want to apply for those loans and you want to apply for all those grants and things like that? Oh, they're looking at your 529 plan and they're saying, oh no, Miss Johnson. You already have have some money. money. And if you have a lot, then we're not giving you any. Right. Or we're going to give you little to none. So, again, you've got to sit down with us, do a personal financial strategy. And a strategy is a strategy, you guys. It's a strategy to make sure you win. Okay? When people strategize, mm. they're looking for the end result for their to be goal at the yes. end of the rainbow for them and their family. A solution that helps them to win so you have to reach out for us for that so with that being said this portion of the show is being sponsored by kog and company are your unique gifts and talents changing the world unleash your dopeness is a people empowerment movement built to encourage the masses to operate outside of their fears and have the gall to recklessly pursue their dreams and passions in life join thousands of others as we unlock the greatness that dwells inside shop Dope gear at KOGPassion.com. That's KOGPassion.com. And use the coupon code DOPE, D O P E, explanation point, for 10% <laughs> off exclusive Unleash Your Dopeness apparel. Act now. Sizes are selling out fast. Man, that's a dope look right there. I love that. Yes. Yeah, so yes. So it's, it's getting too warm for the um, hoodies, but those t shirts, baby. Uh, or, or dope. Are dope. Yes. Yeah, so I don't yes. have a t-shirt. Like, I have to get like one KG of those. is dope. Yeah. <laughs> Love you, KG. Yes. And so, going but, to college without miles of debt is dope. Right. Right. All right. 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 You so, know, and, and we talk about it all the time. You know, this is a really serious uh, topic, and you know, we really should discuss it more because there's a lot of children out here. You know, and there's a lot of parents who you know don't have the answers, don't have the resources, and you you got to just make some better decisions. It's all about preparations. It's all about saving. Get into our college planning workshop. Um, we do that workshop. Uh, was it the fourth Saturday? Which Saturday do we offer it? Uh, we offer it the fourth Saturday of every month. Of the fourth college Saturday planning of workshop. But and again, yes. if if that's not convenient for you, no worries. Just contact us. We'll one-on-one. sit down with you one on one and give you the same information as long as you get the information that you need for your children. Now the program starts about the eighth eighth grade, okay? But if your child is in middle school, let's get started with a plan. Let's go just like you're planning for your retirement. I don't want you to have to use your retirement to send your kids to college and then have to figure out how you're gonna you know retire. Let's go ahead and create a plan for your retirement on one end and on your college planning for your child on the other end. Absolutely. On both. Absolutely. And so also you can follow our Facebook page, The mm-hmm. College Cafe. Okay. It's called The College Cafe. And uh, it's on Facebook. And you can follow it because we post information there. Shout out to Dr. ISB. Absolutely. Uh, she she uh, is the ambassador of that page for us. And she's posting information there that you can use. Uh, It is a resource for you to be able to go to be able to get information about you and your student for college. Absolutely. And I'm I'm just thinking like, wow, we should have had her on the show today. That would have been great. That would have been great. But um, she is definitely a huge resource. Let me tell you something. Dr. A is a um, former college um, professor Mm -hmm. at uh, Prairie View A&M University and uh, a wealth of knowledge when it comes to the college planning and funding program. Very knowledgeable. So, look, there's no excuses. Um, We're here for you and to help you, you know, to plan it out for your children. You don't want your kids graduating with a lot of debt, you know, and they don't even get an opportunity to even start off, you know, debt free. Let's, Let's give them an opportunity to start off debt free and really you know yeah have a chance yeah that yeah. debt is woo. oh no i like to say it's a ball and chain girl and i so, said with some people i don't know i know you do too all the time a hundred eighty five thousand dollars in debt just on student yes, loans and, le- and let me tell you something lashonda the people we're sitting with these aren't children these aren't millennials i'm talking about you generation x y'all still sitting I've even on set with some baby boomers who still, still sitting on that debt are dealing with college debt mm 
You know, it is, it's crazy. Yes, create a plan so for that. We definitely have to have a plan. And here is one of the solutions that we are able to bring to you through one of our partners. So we're going to go uh, take a look at this. And this is Haifa. Okay. Yes. And so um, um, what they are able to do is pro- they, you know, we're able to provide our college planning program through Haifa, mm-hmm. and that's Heartland Institute of Financial Education. Education. And man, do they have a powerful program okay so if you're watching us you could see it there on the screen and uh, we provide college planning through them in the u.s and also in canada okay and then there's international college planning so you guys there's a solution to planning for college and so tony happens to be certified through them and i can tell you that it makes life much easier when you have a plan and like we said before it's not just about paying for it You've got to determine where your child is going to go. What are they going to do? You've got to determine what they're going to do. What are they good in? Exactly. What are are their strengths? What are their talents? You know? Yeah. So it it used to be just like the norm for you to just like go to the first year and just play. Yeah, no. And, you know, people ask you, what's your major? Undeclared. Right. No, no, no. So what what have you declared? I declared I'm a party for the first year. Right. You know, and that (laughs) that, that, that costs money, though. That costs money. Because you know what happens? Kids go into college and they they do that, the first year thing, and then, no, I don't want to do that. That costs more money because now you got to switch all your classes. Let's kind of, let's explore. Let's explore the options of what the kids are good at, what their gifts and talents are, so that you don't have to waste money because that's exactly what's happening happening when you and go in and you, you keep making changes don't have to wait until they become a senior mm. your child is actually developing uh you know over the years so that's why we start with students in the eighth, eighth grade, grade mm-hmm. because you know their their desires and their talents are developing through the years so they didn't just get to a high school senior and like oh voila i'm no, this no no kids are no, already they're, they're planning already, they're already yeah, right. you know forming who they're gonna be mm-hmm. and so you know it it takes the right type of essay to get into a college. Right. It takes the right type of uh, extracurricular activities and community service to get into a college. Absolutely, you have to have a resume to get in college. <laughs> You're absolutely right, Lashonda. Yes. You, have you have to, have to have know a, how to put that resume. And you together. have to know how to put it together. So you want to have yes. somebody on the team. One thing I like about Heartland Institute of Financial Education is um, I'm just a consultant, so I'm going to be the person that's going to present the information to you and, and give you the options that are available. Guess You're what? The liaison. But mm-hmm. guess what? You will have a college con- uh, coach assigned to you and your student to be able to take that walk, take that journey all the way through the, until they graduate from college and even get their first job. Now, you cannot tell me that we don't need this. We do need it. We, we do need, need it. it. Absolutely. That's Absolutely. the support I'm talking mm-hmm. about. That's mm-hmm. the support that we need. That's what's been lacking, the resources. And there's over 34,000 let me repeat, over 34,000 um, college, um, what, what am I trying to say? The, the, um, the Oh, my goodness, I lost, lost my train of thought. But, um, <laughs> you know, for them to get the scholarships, over 34,000 scholarships for your student to take advantage of. You, you got to get some of that money. There's a lot of money out there that we're leaving on the table because we don't take advantages of the resources. Well, well, what they're also saying, too, is one of the main reasons that the money is not issued is because people don't ask for it correctly Mm. or don't ask for it. They don't ask at all. So, hey, we got to fix that. Right. and they have to, and the this. schools have to use that money. They do. And if they don't, they just get more and they get more. So there's just stockpiles of cash. They're waiting for us to take it, but we've got to ask for it appropriately. Mm-hmm. So it is a business. College is a business, you guys. Uh, and I'm, I mean, it's a big business. So you have to know the rules so that you can then engage. Mm-hmm. If you don't know the rules, then, you know, you leave things up for chance and then you're going to have to come up with all of those funds. So, do you qualify for funds? We don't know. We have to sit down with you. Right. You have to get into the program. So I've said to some of my clients, it's even better that you start saving now. So if things don't work out for you and, mm. and you don't have enough, at least you have enough money to play for a college planning program. Absolutely. Even if you have money, you still need to to engage in a college planning Absolutely. program. Because, again, it's not just about the money. It's about how the, your the child planning. is going to enter, stay in, and the process through it. So, you know, we've got to... We've got to be more proactive when it comes to planning for our children Mm. for the major expense. The most expensive thing that we're going to pay for them for, you know, outside of living is college. Yeah. And I I like what you said when we first started. The cost of college 
is the cost of their first home. Yeah. And we all know that's one of the most expensive, ex- the, the most expensive thing that we'll probably have is our home. Right. Look at, I mean, I mean, look at Macy. They're 262,000. That's her starter thousand. home. That's her starter home. And let me, we, let me uh, shout out to my son, my stepson, <laughs> and my um, my daughter in law. Y'all better be paying for Macy. And I mean, yeah. right now, <laughs> stop eating out, stop doing what you have to do, and plan for Macy's college. Okay. You know, wow. Grandma has called y'all out. Yes. Yes. That is a lot of money. It's a lot of money. But, but we always say we don't have it, Lashonda. No, we do have we it. Could just, we could just no, make some small changes. No, you don't have it at 18 and write a check today. No, no you don't. That's why you have to plan and save plan. over time so you can build it. You right. know, just like we build wealth, we build college college money for our children. You know, we build things. We have to build things. So we have to build into these things, into our financial plan, and we have to actually save for them because we're financing life. Mm, that's you good. You know, I, I don't know about you guys, but I wasn't written a check saying, hey, this is for your life. Um, I'm funding this for you, so you're good. I, I didn't, that's not, I didn't get that check. Right. So and, I'm and, funding life. And parents, give your kids an opportunity. I, I understand that some parents don't have the funds to do it. But when you can have a resource that will be available for your student so that they can have the opportunity to take uh, advantage take of advantage it. Advantage oh, my of gosh. It. This workshop mm-hmm. is free that we provide. Right. You can come to this workshop free the fourth Saturday of the month. Okay. The address is 2500 East TC Jester Suite 345 that's Houston Texas 77008 while you're uh, you now why we got this on the screen our workshops our national campaign for financial literacy through World Financial Group is in full force mm-hmm. full force okay you and your family do want to be a participant of this you want to be included in that 1 million number and how do you become a part of that 1 million number well you have to come out to our workshops which takes place on Tuesdays at 7 7 p.m. and Saturdays at 10 10 a.m. okay and so the address is 2500 East TC Jester Suite 345 and that's Houston Texas 77008 it's not convenient for you no problem you've got to give us a call because we literally have workshops going on throughout the country throughout the u.s and in canada so if that location doesn't work for you we have several locations also in houston we just want you to go and get educated okay stop belaboring Mm. these things okay you've got to be proactive you've got to take the steps necessary to put yourself in a position to win financially. I love it. Please okay? do. Please. We're, we, we've got to stop strapping debt on our children's back at 18. Hmm. Literally. That's in that exactly backpack, what we're doing. you it's know, debt. go ahead. They got a compartment in there for debt. Mm-hmm. Books and debt is in that backpack. I love that. We got to stop doing that. Right. You know, release your, your kid from that. So, mm-hmm. I, I, I mean, do you want them to come back to you later and say, why, don't you, why didn't you save for me for college? Yeah, my sister did that. Why didn't you say? Mm-hmm. Because now I have all this responsibility. Right, right. Especially when your kid's seeing you living the life or the life that you think. That, you know, the kids are wondering, oh, you, well, mom, you did this, you did that. Why didn't you say for me for college? And these kids are very smart now. They, they're oh, yeah. very aware. And uh, another thing that I, I want to say to LaShonda is, you know, before your kid goes to college, get a copy of that blue book, okay? That's mm-hmm. one book that needs to be into their backpack. Because mm-hmm. when they go to college and they get out of college, one thing that they're not going to teach your child is personal finance. Nope. They need to know the basics of financial literacy and this book will help them you know the you you're going to you're creating these scholars and they're going to come out of school you know and they're going to make more more money than they ever made before but they have to understand money and how money works so that's a good place to start right there absolutely give them the blue book that's a great graduation gift absolutely give them the blue book so yes. that they can read it so you can help save their future mm-hmm. because they're actually going into their future and what a better way to send your child well, into their a future great start. with financial literacy absolutely absolutely, absolutely. so you guys uh, this has been an incredible show as always uh, again we need you to go subscribe mm-hmm. go subscribe to the sphere to watch the show in its entirety share the show write a review donate all that good stuff, okay? But we do want you to tune in next week for episode number 95. 95. We're counting down to 100, okay? So same time, same place right here on the Spear Podcast Network. 
And again, I'm signing out. I'm LaShonda Johnson and with I'm, the Houston Housewives of Finance. And I'm Tony Sanders with the Houston Housewives of Finance. Make sure you follow us on all our social media platforms and especially on Facebook as yes. the Houston Housewives of Finance official. official. If it doesn't say official, it's, it's not, not us. us. See you next week. Bye-bye.